So now I'm going to read the data in and for that. I'm going to do read.csv since I have a CSV file. Open parentheses and open quotes and you can see with both of those it'll automatically put the extra quote in or the extra parentheses when you do that. And for the name I'm going to go over here to the file that I have. Go down to properties in the security tab and there's the name of it. Plenty of other ways you could go about getting the path that seems to be the easiest to me. And then I'm going to just put that in between those parentheses and then you have to change the direction of the slashes. You could do that with a search and replace if you want to but there's not that many of them so I'll just do this. And so now that line is highlighted. I can just push run. There's that. Okay, let me. I'm going to change that. I wanted to say y equal to that. I'm going to run that. You can see a y came up here. I have 81 observations of seven variables. Obviously, it read it without that, but a lot of things I'm going to do after this will be easier if you just name an object, I'm going to call it Y, you can call it anything you want, and then do the read CSV. And now I'm going to attach Y. Don't forget to do this or you'll have some problems with the rest of, at least the way I'm going to do it. I don't want to write the name of the file Y or whatever you called it every time. So just to recap on this, Y is equal to read CSV, I went over to here, right clicked, and went to properties, security, got the name, and put that inside the parentheses and changed the slashes and attached.